Hey folks, I wanted to quickly talk about the health benefits of sulfur. Sulfur is a mineral found in hot areas such as hot springs and volcanoes. It is an essential component of living cells and a key component of many of the various proteins in the body. It appears to play a role in joint health and connective tissue health for things like cartilage, tendons, and ligaments. It has a distinctly rotten smell if you've never smelled it. It comes in two forms, dimethyl sulfoxide and methyl sulfonyl methane. DMSO is an industrial product, but it also has a role in medicine. Before I go on, it is worth noting that sulfur as a mineral in human nutrition has not been well studied extensively, and there is a dearth of evidence supporting its use for the treatment, management, or prevention of any disease. That said, it does appear to have some uses. As far as skin disorder goes, sulfur baths termed balneotherapy, meaning bath therapy, have been used for hundreds if not thousands of years to treat skin disorders. There's virtually no evidence that they actually help treat skin disorders, nor is there any good evidence that they harm them. The jury is out, but people have used them for acne, rosacea, psoriasis, eczema, dandruff, folliculitis, warts, and pityriasis. Several studies have suggested that mineral baths, including sulfur, can be used to help treat various types of arthritis, including osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, and psoriatic arthritis. Obviously, it doesn't cure those diseases, but it does help with day-to-day -day symptoms, such as improved strength, decreased morning stiffness, improved walking ability, decreased inflammation, swelling, and pain. Researchers have looked at the use of MSM or DMSO to treat arthritis, but the study results are mixed and weak, and more research is needed. One small study showed that MSM supplementation reduced the symptoms of seasonal allergies, specifically allergic rhinitis, aka hay fever. Note that this is a single study and we need more research. Interstitial cystitis is inflammation of the bladder that causes symptoms similar to a urinary tract infection, but is not caused by an infection. The FDA has improved DMSO as a treatment, and it is done under direct injection into the bladder under the supervision of a physician. There's some early evidence suggesting that topical DMSO can be used to treat the symptoms of shingles, relieving pain, inflammation, and number of lesions. And last but not least, amyloidosis is a disease where proteins are deposited abnormally in your body, leading to potentially a wide variety of medical problems. DMSO has been used by some doctors anecdotally to treat specific patients. However, there are no clinical trials demonstrating this efficacy due to the rarity of the disease. Interestingly, I could not find much information regarding deficiency or toxicity of sulfur, and it is not well understood. The best dietary sources are protein-rich foods such as eggs, meat, poultry, fish, dairy, and legumes. And plant sources include garlic, onions, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, kale, and wheat germ. There is no recommended daily allowance from governing bodies for nutrition. Most people get plenty through their dietary intake. And you should not supplement this without supervision of a physician. So in summary, we can make the following statements. Sulfur is an essential mineral found in many proteins and connective tissues. It appears to help with skin disorders and especially with the symptoms of arthritis. It may also help with interstitial cystitis, allergic rhinitis, and possibly amyloidosis. Toxicity and deficiency are not well defined. The best dietary sources are protein-rich foods such as eggs, meat, poultry, fish, dairy, and legumes. There is no recommended daily allowance.